Vince, what's your initial read if we have GDP revised for the second quarter to 3%, personal consumption 3.3%? Uh, it's a strong number, no doubt about it. Uh, and remember, right now, the Atlanta Fed's tracking estimate of Q3 GDP is at 3.4%. Uh, so we're growing in excess of uh, potential output growth. We're narrowing resource slack. This is, suggests that the economy has some real momentum and that it's going to give the uh, Federal Reserve uh, something to think about. Uh, i.e. an opportunity to continue to renormalize monetary policy later this year. Michael, it's a reminder that if you get dr yourself drowning in political hysteria and geopolitics in North Korea, yeah. it's a reminder that actually the fundamentals, the data, they're okay. Sure. They're pretty stable and they're, they're to, in some spaces solid. Right. And I think, you know, this also kind of... Uh, uh, it helps explain you know, those strong employment reports we had uh, as well over the last few, a few months. Um, there, it puts those sort of makes everything a little bit more real. Um, uh, there, I think you know the broader question though is that as while this is an uptick, uh, uh, you know th these GDP uh, prints can be can move around um, uh, a bit. Um, there, I, and I think the broader question is is how much can this really impact the markets? Like, you know, the dollar and, 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 and uh, you know, 10-year Treasury yields have been pushed really hard uh, this week. You're certainly going to see a reaction against it. And I think one of the big market tells will be how aggressive a reaction will they have. You know, all things being equal, you'd expect a pretty major reaction. If they don't move up a lot, I think it's a broader tell about some other uh, factors that are really driving these markets. Uh, I, I can envision the tweet that we're going to get, Vince, from President Trump. 3% growth, that's my target. Now all my reforms can boost it to above 3%, which begs the question, Vince, is this kind of growth sustainable? 3% uh, is probably almost twice the rate of growth of potential output. That means we're now in resource slack, uh, and it will be hard to sustain. Uh, Tax reform can matter, ongoing deregulation can matter, uh, but ultimately uh, uh, an economy gravitates toward its trend, and unless we do something to bend that trend upward, 3% uh, isn't sustainable. Uh, on the margin, though, Vince, uh, inventories were no longer a drag. They were revised up slightly. Yep. Exports actually added two-tenths of 1%. Could be helped even more by a weaker dollar. At the margin, how significant could those inputs be to, say, the third read uh, of Q2 GDP and then perhaps the third and the fourth quarter? So, uh, look, I think it, it tells you we ended the second quarter on a stronger note uh, with less inventories. There's less of a drag associated with that. Uh, I, I think it is both positive about what we, our history last quarter and positive about uh, our, our current reality this quarter, uh, we sh we're probably growing in excess of 3% uh, for the last three quarters of the year. Uh, that's good news because we've basically been stuck in a 2% growth channel uh, you know, for most of this economic expansion. Sometimes high, sometimes low. Yeah. This, is, this is one on the high side.